Hey, I'm Shannon with Square. Today, let's look at subscriptions with the Square API. I'll show how to create a subscription plan, cancel or retrieve a subscription along with its invoices, and search for a subscription by customer and location. Let's start by creating a subscription plan in the Merchant Catalog using Catalog API in the Square API Explorer. And the endpoint we'll use is Upsert Catalog Object. We'll generate an item potency key to make sure we only create the object once if we retry this request with the same key. The object ID needs to start with a hashtag, so we'll use hashtag ice cream here. Then let's add a catalog object. For type, we'll choose subscription plan. Let's scroll down and find subscription plan data and add it, and we'll give it a name. Let's use ice cream club. Then let's add two phases. The first phase will be a month long trial period for $1. So we'll select a monthly cadence, and let's put 100 cents, $1 in cents, for this month-long trial period. And since it's only one month, let's set the periods to one. Now let's add another subscription phase for after the trial period. This will charge customers $20 per month once the trial phase elapses. Let's set the cadence to monthly, but omit the period limit, and set the recurring amount to $20, so 2,000 cents. OK, great. Now let's look at the request we've built. We can see that as we filled in details, the corresponding request is automatically generated. This curl request can run from the command line, or we can try it directly in the API Explorer by hitting Run or the Play button. We can also see the corresponding code in SDK languages. For example, here's PHP, Java, or Ruby. You can copy and paste this code into your app for a head start. So let's hit Play, and a 200 response. Success! We created a subscription plan for the Ice Cream Club. We see in the response, there's a catalog object ID for the plan. Now let's create a customer who wants to subscribe. So we'll hop over to the customer's API and select Create Customer. In order to send an email invoice, our customer will need an email address. So let's add one. And hit Run and grab the customer ID from the response. So now we're ready to subscribe our customer to the plan. Let's select Subscriptions API and the Create Subscription endpoint here, and paste the catalog object ID we got back earlier from the response into the Plan ID field. And let's add the customer's ID from the customer we just created here. And you'll also want to fetch your merchant's location ID. Now hit the Play button, and we see the newly created subscription. If we switch to the Invoices panel in the Sandbox Seller dashboard, we see an invoice for a $1 trial phase of the subscription. The card on file has automatically been charged, and the invoice is marked as paid. Yay! If we didn't have a card on file here, an invoice would be sent by email instead of charging the card. Switching back to API Explorer, let's copy the subscription ID and test the Retrieve subscription endpoint. We see the subscription object that was returned from the request now includes a list of invoice IDs, including the ID of the invoice we just saw on the dashboard. We can use the cancel endpoint to cancel the subscription. Since we've already paid, the subscription status remains active, and the cancel date is set to the end of the current billing period. Now let's try searching for our subscription by querying with the location ID and the customer ID. And here it is. So that's it for today. We created a subscription plan for our merchant with Catalog API, and then played with making, retrieving, searching for, and canceling subscriptions with Subscriptions API. Give subscriptions a try yourself. And remember, API Explorer will translate requests to your SDK language of choice to get you started. Happy coding!